now it's time to start looking at Norwegian's fleet of ships. Norwegian cruise lines have award-winning fleet and it's continuously being improved and expanded from the newest ships like Norwegian Encore which is being launched in November 29 and a Norwegian Bliss that was built last year which I had the great fortune of being on the inaugural cruise from Hamburg to Southampton. Hopefully I'll be on the Encore inaugural as well. As we're looking at Norwegian's cruise line today, not Cruise Line Holdings Limited, let's look at the 17 ships that are in service from NCL. Obviously until the new Leonardo class ship comes out starting in 2022, Norwegian's cruise ships fall into seven different categories. We have the Breakaway, the Breakaway Plus, Dawn, Epic, Jewel, Sun and then two individual ships, the Spirit and the Pride of America. So let's look at each one of them in turn. Right, let's look at Norwegian Breakaway. Named the best cruise ship for families by USA Today. There's something on board for everybody. You breathe in the fresh ocean air and connect with the sea like never before. The waterfront, a quarter mile ocean front promenade lined with restaurants, bars and spectacular views. No better place to sit and watch the sun. Indulge in more than 25 dining experiences, including three new dedicated seafood venues. Also enjoy dazzling Broadway shows like Rock of Angels, Burn the Floor and Circus Dreams and dinner a jungle fantasy. Norwegian Breakaway offers magnificent amenities at sea. Right, the ship itself was built in 2013. It was refurbished again last year in 2018. It has a crew capacity of 1,675 with a total of 3,963 guests. On board it will have 19 different dining venues along with 15 bars. Next in our breakaway class we have Norwegian Getaway. The Getaway combines the most magnificent amenities Norwegian has to offer with unforgettable destination. Again you can stroll the waterfront, an innovative industry first open air promenade. Designed to connect guests with the ocean like no other cruise line. Indulge in more than 28 dining options. Experience the thrill of five amazing water slides. There are three fantastic levels of action packed activities in the sports complex. The excitement and entertainment continue again with some fantastic Broadway musicals like Million Dollar Quartet. Some ship details for you. The ship was built in 2014, refurbished this year in 2019. It has 3,963 guests with a crew of 1,646. Again, there's a numerous number of dining venues and on the gateway this is 28 with 17 bars and lounges to choose from. Right then, let's move on to the Breakaway Plus class. The first of these we're going to look at is Norwegian Bliss. As they say, imagine bliss. That's what you'll experience when you holiday on, at the moment, Norwegian's newest and most incredible ship, the Norwegian Bliss. It's custom built for the spectacular. Norwegian Bliss features a revolutionary observation lounge for you to soak in every stunning moment. And trust me, it's two decks high, the glass goes three quarters of the way around the front of the ship. It's a brilliant place to sit and watch the world go by. From bald eagles soaring over the glaciers to dolphins splashing through warm turquoise waters. Come aboard and experience the best dining, the best entertainment and meet it at sea against a unrivaled natural beauty. And don't forget, this ship has go-karts, it also has laser tag, a water park 
there's something to do for everybody on the Norwegian Bliss. Right, let's move on to Norwegian Encore, which will be their uh, newest ship from November. The Norwegian Encore is tailor-made again and again. Whip around the racetrack, which believe it or not, suspends 13 free over the edge of the ship. How cool is that? Get lost in the VR Wonderland in the Galaxy Pavilion. You'll see Broadway shows. Then give way to your taste buds to a double dose of the deliciousness at many of its dining restaurants. You can do much more on the Encore because once it's never enough. And if it's anything like the Bliss with lots of entertainment venues from country and western to Broadway shows, you've got the water park, the laser tag, the VR, the go-karts, and believe me, they do 30 kilometers an hour. They go fast. Right, now let's look at the ship itself. As I just said, it will come out in November 2019. It will have a guest capacity of 4,000. With a cruise, with a crew, sorry, of 1,731. You can see how big this ship's going to be. It will have 19 dining venues and 14 bars and lounges for your enjoyment. Folks, let's move on to the Norwegian Escape. Get ready to chase sunsets on the waterfront. Get closer to paradise with two quintessential Jimmy Buffett venues. The Margaritaville at sea and the five o'clock somewhere bar. Sip on some of the Napa's best blends at the cellar. Alternatively, try unique specialty cocktails, handcrafted by Bar Lab. Be dazzled by the ball race shows like After Midnight. Discover a new world of freestyle cruising on the Escape. It was voted in 2017 Ship of the Year by Ocean and Cruise News. Right, a little bit about the ship. It was built in 2015, so it's relatively new. It has a guest capacity of 4,266, one of the biggest in the Norwegian fleet. It has dining venues and 14 bars and lounges to keep you occupied. Right, let's take a look at Norwegian Joy, a ship that was initially built for the Chinese market, but then Norwegian decided it's going to join its sister ship, the Bliss, up in the Caribbean and in the summer months in the amazing Alaska. Trust me, I've cruised there. If you haven't been, you really need to cruise there. On this ship, then, you will find your happy place when she, uh, she cruises from Miami and Los Angeles. You enjoy a rush. as a, Like no others, you race in the middle of the ocean. Again, like the Encore and the Bliss, the Joy has go-kart travel. All of them are two level tracks, and they're getting bigger. Or you can immerse yourself in the wonder of the virtual world, in the Galaxy Pavilion. So, the ship facts then. It was built in 2017 and refurbished in 2019 to come back to the Western market. It has a guest capacity of 3,804 with a crew of 1,821. You'll also find on the Joy 15 dining venues along with 18 bars and lounges. Right, time to move on to the two Dawn class ships. First of them, Norwegian Dawn, which offers the ultimate in freestyle cruising. You can dine in Los Lobos, Catina, an upscale Mexican restaurant. Why not drop by the cellars? I'm Michael Mondavi Family Wine Bar. For wine, or a bit of wine tasting, is that what floats your boat? Alternatively, uh, fancy your Lady Lux spinning the Dawn Club Casino. There is rooms or state rooms to fit every size of budget on the Dawn. Some facts then, she was built in 2002 and again refurbished in 2016 under the Norwegian Edge program. She has a guest capacity of 2,340 with a crew of 1,032. 
on board you will find 15 different okay let's move on to the Norwegian Star this is the first cruise ship in Norwegian fleet that I ever cruised on plus it's the only cruise ship with a great big smile on the front of the ship now believe me have a look it was recently refurbished as the Norwegian Ed program and the star blends a relaxed freestyle cruising concept with a sprawling spa and it's always exciting there's a casino with a VIP area and as the same as all Norwegian cruise ships there is a great kids club as well to keep the little ones happy well the star was built in 2001 and again refurbished in 2018 with a guest capacity of 2348 and a crew of 1031 on board the star you have the choice of 15 different dining venues keep many of the little sea fatty happy and there's also 10 bars and lounges for your so right let's move on to the epic class and of course there is only one ship in the epic class the fantastic Norwegian epic I've been on this ship twice well I've been on the ship three times twice I went on the same itinerary but because of all the entertainment and the different shore excursions every time you go it's different so whenever you choose to do on a Norwegian epic it's sure to dazzle awarded the best cruise ship for entertainment by former Norwegian epic keeps the bar high with two new Broadway shows ballroom flits and the Priscilla Queen of the Desert so I've seen Priscilla twice now and the second time was even better than the first time not only is Norwegian epic offering world-class performers but a new wave of accommodation this is the ship that started the studio category designed and priced for the solo traveler plus all the way up to the privacy of the haven some facts about the epic then it was built in 2010 refurbished in 2015 I was on the first cruise as she come out of a refit she has the capacity of 4100 guests there is a crew of 1724 people and on board you will find 20 different dining venues this is accompanied by 16 different bars and lounges next we're going to move on to the dual class ships the first one we'll look at is the Norwegian Gem again it comes with lots of dining choices and what we all love about Norwegian freestyle cruising the Norwegian Gem has it all then you can chill out by the pool get lucky in the casino even unwind at the spa and I'll say this lots of times the best time to use that spa is on a port day but we'll go into the spa a little bit later and it will make your kids happy with spaces built direct just for them accommodation range again from the luxurious multi-room or romantic suites now a little bit about the ship facts then the gem was built in 2007 refurbished in 2015 she has a guest capacity of 2394 we have a crew of 1070 on the gem as you wander around you will find 16 different dining venues accompanied by 15 bars and lounges the Norwegian Jade your dream holiday is waiting for you on the Norwegian Jade as you cruise from port to port along stunning coastlines you'll be kept entertained day and night with the exciting nightclubs and the award winning restaurants there's a grand casino, swimming pools, a pampering spa and so much more and again there is tons for fun for the kids too so take your whole family on an adventure of lifetime on the Norwegian Jade some cruise ship facts then she was built in 2006 refurbished in 2017 is one of your smaller ships with a guest capacity of 2,402 with a crew of 1,037 
you will find 14 dining venues along with 12 different bars and lounges. Right, Norwegian Jewel, what can we say about this ship? First of all, it's the namesake of the Jewel class. You can bet Norwegian Jewel has it all though, as well as offering some of the largest suites at sea. The state routes on here will accommodate every style. When it comes to the entertainment, this ship is filled with excitement. You will not get bored on this ship, trust me. The ship Faxton was built in 2005 refurbished in 2018 only last year with a guest capacity of 2376 and on board the Jade you will come across 16 different dining venues and as you keep exploring you'll also find 15 bars and lounges right now let's look at Norwegian Pearl my favorite ship in this class as I say I had the great fortune of cruising from Miami to Alaska. Just sit back and sail through the world's greatest shortcut on Panama Canal cruise. What most people think is the Panama Canal will actually cruise from east to west. It actually cruise north to south. So it's one interesting fact for you. Whenever you choose, we invite you to experience the wonders of getting aboard the Norwegian Pearl. She has delicious dining options, bars and lounges, and of course a casino. There's a spa, and the spacious garden villas are just a thing to make this dual class ship a destination on its own. Because it hasn't got the haven, it has garden villas instead. Just as big, just as beautiful. Some of the uh, ship facts then. The Norwegian Pearl was built in 2006 and refurbished in 2017 which was after when I went on her, so I'd love to see what she looks like now. She has a guest capacity of 2,394, a crew of 1,072. Now on board the Pearl, you will experience 16 dining options and 15 bars and lounges. Again, on a 34 day cruise, I try all of them. Excellent service. Special men out here, to uh, Sumi. Right, let's move on to the two Sun class ships. But first of all, they're Norwegian Sky. She offers something for everybody. On an LCR Bahamas cruise, your options are nearly limitless, with numerous dining options, a variety of bars and lounges, on board as long with a spa, a cruise casino that has all your favourite games and slot machines. Now the difference about an Norwegian Sky, she normally offers a three and four day cruise all year round from Miami to Bahamas. So if you decide to bring the kids, they will keep you entertained in the kids clubs while you lounge around at the pool or play in the casino. Or take a snack from one of the many dining venues. Some of the cruise ship facts then. The Norwegian Sky was built in 1999, so quite an old ship. But the good news, she was refurbished again this year in 2019. With a guest capacity of 2004. Uh, as I said, numerous dining venues, in fact there's 11 of them. And there's 9 bars and lounges for you to try on your cruise. Alright, let's move on to the second ship in the Sun class, which of course is a Norwegian Sun. Norwegian Sun is a shining bright experience, the Bliss Lounge and dance the night away on deck 6. Or you can head up to 12 for the Spinnaker Lounge. This is when you get your family type entertainment and your late night uh, partying. Or just grab a bite to eat at Los Lobos' Cantina. But just a few of the changes on board. The ship itself was built in 2001. Refurbished in 2018 under Norwegian's EDGE program. She only has a guest capacity of 1,936. So this is a small ship with a crew of 906. But same small ship, the entertainment and the venues are huge. There's 14 dining venues on Norwegian Sun, along with 11 bars and lounges. Right. It's time to look at the two standalone classes, the, the Spirit and the Pride of America. 
Let's look at the Norwegian spirit first then. Just sit back and relax while you cruise along the ocean. Whatever you choose to do on Norwegian spirit, you'll be travelling in style. While you're on board, make a trip to Tavoli Pool. Soak in one of the four hot tubs. Or take the kids through Buccaneers wet and wild. They're just beginning with delicious options. There's numerous bars and the Roman Spa and Fitness Centre. Get ready for a holiday of a lifetime on the spirit. Some facts then. The Norwegian Spirit was built in 1999, again an older ship. Refurbished in 2019, which make it a newer ship. With a guest capacity of 2004. But it only has a crew of 899. We already mentioned the numerous dining options, and in this case there's 14 to choose from, along with 12 bars and lounges. Right, let's look at our final ship then, the Pride of America. Aloha! Come aboard the Pride of America. It's the only cruise ship that sells round trips from Honolulu all year round, so you can hold it on your time scale. Most cruise lines, well it's, this is the only one that doesn't, will cruise from the west coast of America. It could take you four days to get to Hawaii and take a big chunk out of your cruising holiday. So if you want to see all the islands in Hawaii, Norwegian Pride, sorry, yeah Norwegian Pride of America is the cruise ship for you. You can journey from one exotic island to the next, learn about Hawaiian culture through the eyes of native ambassadors on board our ship because the pride of America is only crewed by Americans. That's the reason it's allowed to stay in Hawaii. So you can island hop Hawaii style with excellent family accommodation and spacious suites for everybody. Now uh, Norwegian pride of America was built in 1999. She was refurbished this year in 2019 and it has a guest capacity of 2004 but it only has a crew of 899 as I've just said they're all American crew but on board the Pride of America you will find 15 diner venues along with bars and lounges 